an expression such as negative one times the quantity a plus b indicates the opposite or additive inverse of the sum of a and b. When a sum within grouping symbols is preceded by the negative symbol, we can multiply the sum by negative one and use the distributive property. And the result is the opposite of a sum. This is shorthand for negative one. Multiplying across the sum results in negative a plus negative one times b or negative b. Using the rule of subtraction, we can replace plus the negative b as simply minus b. And if you look at what we had within the parentheses, we have the opposite of a sum being the sum of the opposites. A little bit confusing. To remove parentheses from an expression like this, we can first rewrite the subtraction as an addition. So instead of subtract seven, add a negative seven y plus five, then we will take the opposite of this sum. Recognizing again, this symbol is shorthand for negative one. Distributing a negative one times each one of these terms will result in the opposite of that sum. Negative one times x is negative x. Negative one times the negative seven y results in positive seven y. And negative one times five results in either plus a negative five or simply minus five. If you look at the original quantity within the parentheses, we have exactly the opposite sign on each one of those terms because of the result of the distributive of the negative one. In this next example, thinking of order of operations, we can add the opposite of this expression because of the fact this can be written as 3x plus negative one times the quantity 4x plus two. Take the opposite of this sum, results in negative one times four is negative four along with the x. Negative one times the two is a negative two. We could have equally written this expression as 3x opposite of 4x, negative 4x. Opposite of two with a negative results in a negative two. Both of these are equivalent expressions for the same thing. And then go ahead and combine like terms. The first two terms both involve x, three plus a negative four results in a negative one x with the remaining negative two for our final answer.